Uh, next up, Colorado Avalanche, 109 points last year. They were first in the Central, seventh out of 32 teams, but they got bounced. Huge upset uh, the first round. Seattle beat them in seven great, seven games, hell of a series. Uh, Colorado is 10 to 1 this year to win the Cup. Uh, of course, they're not going to have Ryan. Uh, I'm sorry, Gabriel Landeskog for the uh, regular season. He might be back for the playoffs, but they did bring in Ryan Johansson via trade, uh, Ross Colton via trade, Tom Stata, uh, Jonathan Drouin, Miles Wood, and Chris Wagner. Uh, so long to JT Confa, Evan Rodriguez, Alex Newhook, Matt Nieto, Eric Johnson, Lazella, uh, Dennis Morgan, Keith Kincaid. A lot of guys they said goodbye to. They are over the cap right now, but with Landeskog's injury, that'll take them underneath like they need to be. Uh, but, Biz, let's go to you first on Colorado. Are they going to get back right in the playoffs? Is, was that last year just an aberration? They won the Cup the previous well, year before. Yeah, and, and they dealt with a, a few injuries. And then, of course, that Nachushkin thing. I don't think we ever got an answer what happened there. But you saw he what back? he... Yeah, he's yeah he's back. He was he was posting on Instagram with like an AK forty seven doing Russian shit as the Russians do, uh, but they got him back. Uh, at, going back to last playoffs, like they were a one trick pony up front, right? They kept leading with the ace of spades and that McKinnon line who were buzzing and keeping him in that series. But, you know, Seattle was just too deep and they took care of business. Uh, I think their goaltending solid. I think that we can all agree as far as the Western Conference is concerned, uh, maybe other than Vegas, they got the best top five defensemen. I mean, Gerard's a water bug out there. Wait, I could see that face you're making. You're not liking it with Devon Taves I think and Makar. Their D is, I think their, D, their, their D's the best D in the league. Really? Okay. Well, yeah. I guess if you if you consider Makar, I mean, I really like the depth of what of what Vegas has going, but they're I strong like in that position. And then and then as far as their their forward group, I mean, I think the second line center role is really what hurt them. Right? They lost Kadri from the Stanley Cup year. I think that they felt that Newhook was going to be able to step in at the beginning of last year and make an impact. He never really got settled in that position, and they got exposed in in that spot. So. Um, I would imagine that McKinnon's got him on a diet and a good training routine because Johansson, I don't think, is really known for his off fights habits. But with the pressure coming in and their pressure to succeed and get back to their winning ways, I think that he's going to have a monster year in that role. And it's definitely an upgrade from what they had last year. So I like their depth up front. I think that they're more than likely going to win that division. And uh, they're going to be they're, they're They're a top five cup cup contender, in my opinion. I think they're going to be incredible this year. I think Johansson's going to light it up. Um, a lot to prove. A lot of a lot of naysayers. A lot of shit been talked about him. So if, if if he's like as proud as I think, and he's going somewhere where the leaders expect a lot, and McKinnon's expecting a lot of his teammates, I think he has a monster season. And I mean, they lose JT Confer. Like if you can go back to Johansson's twenty one twenty two season, and he can do that again, that's a lot more offensive production than Confer's ever had. Or could or could pull off, and and Makar is he's a true game breaker. Like if you have this guy and he stays healthy, I mean, think of the injuries they had last year. They battled without McKinnon for a long yeah. time. I think McKinnon had seventy points in his last forty games of the season. Yeah, he's coming on back pissed 42. off. I mean, dude, they, they they win the Stanley Cup and then lose first round, and we know how psychotic Nathan McKinnon is. You don't think he's going to be possessed this year? Yeah. And, and so I, I think that they're going to light it up. I have them winning the division. I don't think it's going to be easy. I, I love Dallas, too. I mean, this this division is – there's no other division where there's three teams that much better than everyone else, in, in my mind. So they're going to be right there. I think Johansson has a huge season. And what if somehow Jonathan Drewen finds some sort he of – He will connection with his old Halifax Moosehead yep. teammate McKinnon. I mean, it's been a tough go, right? He's battled d different kind of me mental stuff. He's lost his game, his confidence. So it would be a pretty cool story. Personally, I think if he went over and played with McKinnon and had a great year, looking back at his at when he was drafted and what people thought he could become and how it's gone since, I mean, a, it would be a great story around the league, I think, if he went and lit it up. So I, I think the Avs are going to have a monster season, and I think McKinnon's going to be right there for MVP with McDavid. Jared Bednar has been very, very high on Jonathan Drew in this preseason. So I think that's something to know. He's been getting a lot of power play time as well. So, wait, I'm right there with you. I think Jonathan Drew might have a breakout year. Yeah, and we know what we're getting from Rotten. And this reeks of Landeskog coming back for playoffs, the old LTR oh, yeah. special, like, and they're just going to Sting dropping out of the sky. And, oh, like yeah. The, the Kucherov. We know like, what's happening. We know <laughs> it's all happening. 
Yeah, uh, uh, Bedsy, his eighth season uh, makes him the third longest tenured coach after Coop, then Sully. Uh, Merles, what do you got on uh, Avalanche? Probably in the playoffs, but uh, what do you have to add to the discussion here, my friend? The jersey, the original 29, is freshly <laughs> <Shocker>. washed. <laughs> Ready for a big season. I, you guys stole all my notes. I think you guys are in and reading my blogs before I publish them. I love the Avs. They're back. Makar, McKinnon. Division champs plus 150. I'm definitely taking that. I'll have that bet going all year. I, I love the Avs. You guys said it all. They got two of the top 10 D in the whole league. It may be even top five in the whole league. So they're great. Speaking of that, Taves UFA after this season, he's making 4.1 mil. Will the Avs be able to re-sign him on Merrill's or what? Yeah, bump, I mean, Joe pay. Sackick's been a, a magician behind the, what would you call the GM? Behind the desk? He's behind the desk. He's pulled unreal moves. Behind I think he curtain. gets it done. I think Taves takes a little less to stay there and play, keep playing with that group. And he's made enough money, make a little less there, live in Denver, play on winning teams the rest of his career. I think he gets it done. 